The provincial government wants to let pharmacists assess and diagnose minor ailments so patients can avoid going to an ER if their doctor isn't available. That is a proposal in last week's provincial budget, and today the health minister gave us some more information. Now, Christine Elliott says it's not about cutting costs, but it could certainly ease some pressure on overcrowded hospitals. The most important thing here is convenience to the patients and making sure that patients can get the services that they need in a timely manner. Sometimes people aren't able to get in to see their physician, for example, during the course of the day, but they can go in on weekends, they can go in in evenings to see the pharmacist. If it's a, if it's a low grade issue, uh, then we believe that there are certain things that pharmacists should be able to treat. We also control the... The minister wouldn't say exactly which ailment are being considered, but for the last 11 years, the Ontario Pharmacy Association has been asking that pharmacists be able to provide assessments and prescriptions for 10 conditions, including sinus infections, acid reflux, birth control, pink eye, and urinary tract infections. Eight other provinces already allow pharmacists to assess and prescribe, including New Brunswick, where they can treat 32 ailments and Alberta, where pharmacists have to take additional courses and training to be able to prescribe, something that could potentially be introduced here as well. The health minister has indicated pharmacists would bill OHIP. The NDP is questioning that. You're calling it a scheme. Like, could there be some merit to it? Could it not be a good idea? Well, again, we don't know what the details are. Uh, we are uh, worried about um, about making sure that patients aren't being asked or, or residents aren't being asked to pay out of pocket. Uh, we're concerned about uh, the safety issues, some of which have been flagged by other organizations. So we're, it's, we're taking a wait-and-see approach. The Ontario Medical Association wrote this statement saying it encourages team-based delivery of health care but adds to ensure the best care for patients, there should be a rigorous regulatory structure and patient information should be shared through electronic health records. The previous Liberal government had started looking at allowing pharmacists to prescribe. Interim leader John Fraser says he worked on the file for two years and it was not an easy task. So it's a lot of work, but you're saying it's worth doing. It's 100% worth doing. It's not easy work and, and to be frank, when I got there, my first reaction was, this, this is like a glacier. It could be some time before you can go to your pharmacist for treatment. The Minister of Health says talks have begun with the College of Pharmacists. Those talks could take a year.